I'm very pleased to welcome everyone uh, to this seminar today at the IIEA. My name is Tom Arnold, and I have the honor of moderating this session, the title of which is The Future of the EU's Common Agricultural Policy. And our guest speaker today, we are delighted uh, uh, to have uh, Commissioner Janusz Wojciechowski, uh, European Commissioner for Agriculture. I just want to set down a few housekeeping rules before we start. Uh, both the comments and the Q&A session are on the record. Guests who want to submit questions should do so via the Q&A function on Zoom. And in, uh, in submitting questions, we would ask guests to identify themselves and their affiliation before asking the speaker a question. We encourage guests to tweet using the handle at uh, IIEA. What we are doing today is noting the fact that in June 2021, the EU agreed a new common agricultural policy, which aims to make European agriculture fairer, greener, and more sustainable in the context of the EU's Green Deal and Farm to Fork objectives. The Commissioner will address the IIAA to outline the future of the CAP, what the changes may mean for European farmers, citizens, firms, animals, and the planet, and what a socially, environmentally, and economically sustainable CAP entails. Commissioner uh, Wojcicki has been European Commissioner for Agriculture since December 2019, as part of President van der Leyen's commission. Before joining the commission, he was a member of the European Court of Auditors, served as an MEP in the European Parliament from 2004 to 2016, as well as an, ME, as an, as well as an MP in the Sejm, the Polish Parliament, representing what, uh, watch Loski from 2001 to 2004. Before entering politics, the commissioner was a judge in Poland, including on the Polish Supreme Court, and was president of the Polish Supreme Audit Office from 1995 to 2001. He holds a master's, degree, master's in law from the University of Łódź in Poland. So it's with great pleasure, commissioner, I invite you now to address us. Thank you very much, Mr. Gilmour. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for inviting me to speak with you today. I'm sorry I cannot join you in Dublin on this occasion, but uh, hopefully I will have uh, that uh, pleasure, pleasure soon. Uh, I know that agriculture is not only a central, central part of uh, Ireland's economy, but also its history and heritage. Uh, so I'm glad to present you some key elements of the common agriculture policy reform and how it will shape the future of agriculture in Ireland and across the European Union. But firstly, I'd like, because the, uh, the many farmers and re farmers representatives and representatives of the food uh, system, food sector, food uh, production sector participating uh, in this meeting, I'd like to thank you very much for your contribution for Irish farmers, Irish food processors, retailers for ensuring food security in the European Union during this unprecedented crisis caused by COVID-19 pandemic that we have, we had, partially we have the crisis crisis not finished, but uh, there was a very serious health crisis, economic crisis, but fortunately it was not a uh, food crisis. We have, uh, uh, we had um, uh, food uh, available in each corner of Europe during uh, this time. And this is also the big contribution of the Irish farmers that, um, uh, uh, 137,000 um, uh, Irish farmers contributed to ensure the food security, the 
Irish production of uh, uh, of uh, milk is more than four percent, four and a half percent of the whole European production. Bovine uh, production is more than seven percent of the um, total European production. This is very important uh, that uh, thanks to our farmers, including the uh, Irish farmers, we have food security in whole European Union, whole, whole Europe for 460 million European citizens, European consumers. Thank you for that. Uh, the, maybe the, another uh, information, which is important at the beginning of our, our meeting, that is the, um, the budget. You remind that uh, I started my uh, my work in the European Commission 1st of December uh, 2019. At that time, we had on the table the uh, budgetary proposal uh, proposed 2018 by the previous European Commission, Mr. Juncker Commission. The budget for the common agricultural policy was uh, at that time 365 billion euro for seven years, 2021-27. And uh, uh, there was a lot of concerns that it is not, not uh, appropriate budget for the challenges which we have uh, for, uh, for our uh, agriculture, for our farmers. Uh, fortunately, the, the Madame von der Leyen Commission proposed uh, the new New proposal uh, incre uh, increased, uh, increasing the, 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 the first proposal, the first initial proposal. And finally, we have uh, the 22 uh, billion euro more. The budget is uh, 387 billion euro. But also, for the, this is the good news for the Irish farmers because the, uh, the first proposal was 10 billion euro for Irish farmers. And finally, we have 10. 10 uh, 0.7 from, from um, all 10.7 10, 10, uh, 10 billion 750 million euro uh, which is the good good proposal for the Irish farmers and uh, I'm happy that it was possible to achieve this increase of the budget which is very important because we have very serious challenges uh, for our food system for our farmers and uh, including the, the, the island, of course. Uh, a few words about the common agriculture policy reform. Uh, as with uh, most reforms, I know that the new common agriculture policy has attracted difference, uh, differences in opinion. For some, the changes are not enough, and for others, the changes go too far. I understand that most farmers agree with the need for change, but many are concerned about uh, how these changes will affect their livelihoods. I came from uh, a farming background. I understand how hard farmers work to feed their families, to feed society, and to take care of their land. I also have a legal background, and uh, from my time serving as a judge, I'm used uh, to listening uh, to all sides of an argument and waging up the, uh, the evidence before me. Uh, and having waged up to evidence, I believe that CAP reform is a good compromise uh, in response to the challenges facing agriculture for incomes to the environment, the new CAP aims to put forward solutions for greener, fairer and more modern systems of agriculture. Uh, it is now in the hands of member states to prepare ambitious strategic plans that focus on delivering these solutions. I am glad to see that Minister uh, Mac uh, Conolong uh, and the Irish government recently put forward a proposal for their plan I'm confident uh, that they are moving in the right direction to secure a strong and sustainable future for Irish farming. I will repeat uh, a message that I have shared with all national governments. It is uh, vital that member states follow a strategic approach. The strategy must be based uh, on evidence and analysis as well the views of experts, farmers, and uh, other stakeholders. 
the plans must also set targets using instruments provided in the legislation to address the main food and farming challenges of member states. The Commission will review the plans uh, once they have been formally submitted uh, at uh, the end uh, of this year. Uh, we will assess whether the proposed strategies addressed the problems identified and uh, if their ambitions uh, can meet Green Deal targets. Uh, the Commission will take into account, uh, on the one hand, the ambition of uh, member states in relation to their specific starting point, and on the uh, other hand, the ambition in, relations, in relation to the collective efforts by uh, all member states. Uh, in order to guarantee a consistent approach, the Commission has prepared an assessment toolkit for the different elements of the CAP strategic plans. While this toolkit will assess many aspects, uh, the key thing we will be looking for is how these plans intend to foster sustainable systems uh, of agriculture. Sustainable is a uh, word is frequently used, but also frequency mis misunderstood. Uh, in the new CAP, there are three pillars of sustainability, social, environmental, and economic. Like the uh, leaves of shamrock, uh, these three pillars are separate but uh, connected. Uh, in terms of environmental sustainability, national strategic plans must include higher ambitions for climate, biodiversity, and uh, natural resources, as well as uh, animal welfare. Uh, in the first place, member states must ensure their plan is fully consistent with environmental and climate legislation. And where this legislation is modified in the coming years, for example, in the case of climate legislation and uh, the sustainable use of pesticides, the strategic plans must be updated accordingly. Uh, we have also invited member states to set up uh, national values to be achieved by 2030 as their contribution to the relevant Green Deal targets. This include uh, pesticide and antimicrobial reduction and the reduction of nutrient losses as well uh, as the expansion of organic agriculture, broadband, coverage, and landscape features. To meet these ambitions, member states must put in place a clear strategy. Uh, this strategy will be built on a baseline of minimum conditions for environmental care, environmental care and animal welfare. As before, these conditions uh, will be linked to the CAP payments, but now the standards will be higher. Above this baseline, the new CAP will provide stronger support for farmers who take voluntary actions. At least 25% of income support will be dedicated to eco schemes, which will go towards practices that uh, benefit the climate, environment, biodiversity, and animal welfare. Uh, these areas will also benefit from at least 35% of rural development support directed through agri-environment and other relevant, relevant uh, elements. Uh, I would like to stress that these voluntary measures must be used strategically. They must appeal uh, to a wide base of farmers with a view to reaching High targets, the wider the base, the higher we can build. For example, Ireland has a wide base of dairy and beef farmers. While these sectors present sustainably challenges, Irish farmers have already shown their ability to produce with a lower carbon footprint. Uh, this should be uh, further supported and advanced with eco schemes and rural development funding in areas such as precision nitrogen and fertilizer apl application, agroforestry, and extensive livestock production. Uh, eco schemes in these areas will recognize and reward the extra work put in by farmers to meet society demand for sustainable products. 
The Commission also intends to ensure that society recognizes and rewards farmers who work sustainably through consumer, edu uh, consumer education, promotion, and labeling under uh, the farm to fork strategy. In this way, by taking advantage of CAP support for ecological practices, member states can put their farmers in a prime position to uh, capture uh, economic rewards. Uh, in economic terms, the new CAP maintains market orientation as a core principle. EU farmers will continue to operate according to market signals while taking advantage of opportunities on the internal market as well as international trade. To ensure stability, income support payments will also remain a core part of the policy. Uh, the further support, uh, support income resilience, uh, a new agricultural reserve will be introduced. The reserve will fund markets measures in times of crisis with an annual budget of at least 450 million euro. The new policy also reinforces the position of farmers in the food supply chain by expanding possibilities to join forces, including by means of certain ex uh, exceptions from competition law. Member states can further strengthen the position of farmers by supporting shorter and more transparent supply chains. For instance, our Irish farm produce is highly valued across the European Union for its quality. Irish farmers must get their fair share of this value under a just and transparent supply chain, allowing them to put money back into their farms, families, and, uh, and rural communities. Uh, with this in mind, I, I'd like to highlight how the new CAP allows member states to target support to section, sections of the farming community and who are vital of the social fabric of rural areas. For example, improving the fairness and effectiveness of income support for small and family farmers is a key priority of the CAP agreement. For this, the Commission has uh, specifically created the redistributive income support tool for small farmers. Member States can also uh, avail of the payment for small farmers and continue the internal convergence of basic income support. Additionally, the new legislation contains a mandatory but flexible definition of an active farmer to be established by member states, while a stronger capping of the highest CAP payments is also possible. Uh, member states must show how they will use these tools as a part of clear strategy for a fairer system of agriculture. For example, I am glad to see that convergence and capping have both been proposal as a part of the Irish uh, strategy plan. Uh, a few words about the social conditionality. You know, farm workers are another group who will see real benefits from the new CAP. For the first time, the CAP will link payments to workers' rights uh, to decent conditions. Farmers have to provide their workers with a, a written description of the agreed working conditions and must, must ensure a safe and healthy working environment. When farmers are found uh, to be in a breach of these rules, their CAP payments can be reduced. Uh, member states have also uh, the chance to support young farmers and uh, women farmers. A minimum 3% of the direct payment budget must go to young farmers, while member states must demonstrate how they will support women farmers in daily strategic plan. I'm glad to see that uh, Ireland has already proposed targeted support towards uh, women farmers. Supporting these groups of the farming community goes hand in hand with the rural development goals of the CAP and contributes to the long-term vision for rural areas recently launched 
uh, by the commission. Uh, I hope you can see that I have covered all three pillars of sustainability and I hope you can see how they are interconnected. I have already pointed, uh, pointed out how we must work strategically to build each of these pillars. We must also work with uh, intelligence and innovation. In their CAP plans, each member states will have to set out a strategy for stimulating innovation and modernization. To reach their targets, member states must capitalize and uh, capitalize on advances of in innovation, technology, and digital solutions, such as precision farming. Not only with, uh, will these advances uh, encourage sustainability, they will also lead to higher productivity and reduce inputs for farmers, uh, thereby lowering costs. Member states can support uh, the uptake of new advances by developing stronger farm advisory system. Finally, let me stress that we must work together. Uh, the challenges and opportunities facing agriculture in the European Union will not only be addressed through the common agriculture policy, but also with the contribution of different EU funds, including the European Structural and Investment Funds, 21-27, uh, and the Recovery and Resilience Facility. Uh, the challenges will not only be addressed by European policies, uh, and uh, actions, but also by all uh, authorities and actors at national, uh, regional and local levels. I welcome the efforts of Minister uh, Konalog uh, to speak with farmers and stakeholders across the country. And finally, the challenges will not only be addressed by farmers, but by everyone along the food chain as citizens, we must support our farmers in their efforts to provide with us uh, sustainable food. Uh, let, so let me conclude by saying that I look forward to continuing the work. I believe there is a great potential in Ireland and the European Union as a whole to become leaders in sustainable food production and for our farmers to reap the benefits. As I mentioned at the beginning, I hope to visit your island soon and to see the work of Irish farmers uh, uh, firsthand. Uh, I was told that when I visit Ireland, most, the most important work must learn uh, I'm not sure that about the, my pronunciation. In Poland, we say Nazdrowie. So I will conclude by saying uh, Slancha and uh, Nazdrowie uh, to the health of our food, our environment and our farmers in Ireland and across European Union. Thank you very much.